No, you're in the middle of the pack. Okay, well. Oh, that's right. You were tied with my friend near. You're nearish to the bottom. Oh, okay. Let's see. I, I'm doing one. I'm sure. I think we check mine. Three winners, right in the middle of the pack. But your pens are out, so. My pens are out. I can't win. Your flag's not. Unless, uh, yeah, because I, I won't I get the winner. I still have Fred's in, so it's still up to. Which is good. We have a game seven going to be Thursday, yes. day of release. So that should be maybe our overriding. Oh, game seven tonight. Kind of. Yeah. Thing. You don't play again until Thursday? Yeah. Do you get that much time off? Two days. Yeah, I know why there's a Justin Timberlake concert there. Oh. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. In Vegas. Yeah. Or in Nashville, you mean? No, yeah. in Vegas. No, no, no. It's Nashville, Winnipeg. That's the no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I meant, but also there's, um, U2 is in Vegas, which is going to conflict with the Vegas start, potentially. Really? Uh, yeah. I think, there's, I think they're in Vegas when, when they're supposed to be, um, the series in Vegas, yeah. Yikes. All right. All right. I think I have us on here in a second. Let's see if this is working. That's working. Is this sharing here? I got a notification that you were live. Share your page <clears throat> as Dr. Hockey. Host. Give me a little mic test. Hello, 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 hello. Nope, it's too low today. Too low. I shared it on Dr. Hockey. Slow, slow, That's not slow. what I wanted to do. Raise it up, raise it up. I'm going to share it on my timeline. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Why would I share Dr. Hockey to Dr. Hockey? <laughs> that, that's hello. not smart. Hear me? Who really wants to come back on? Ace. <sighs> because he's got the Vegas Golden Knights going. Yes. He, he thinks he's going to win it. <laughs> he's like, when are you guys giving me the $10? I was like, when, when are we giving you the $10? I think that was even the price. He's, right? like, he's like, no, I bet you guys $10 that they would beat the LA Kings. Actually, like, I think he did. On air? Yeah, I, so did. I think we have that on. I think we have I think, it. Do we agree with him that we're going to win? I don't know. I think we agreed with him, and he said, well, if they win, then I get $10. So somehow I think I have to give him 10 bucks. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, when he's done, when he's done talking, he's, like, taking it. Right. You know? When, he, when he's done talking, you've now given away... He's going to be a lawyer. Yes. For sure. Because he said one day to me, he goes... My pad was given to me. And it's... Oh. Really? How that works? He is definitely going to be a lawyer. Uh, if I can get us back, there it is. I need, <coughs> I need to be somewhere in here. I can move over here if you want. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to get to the end of the table that way? Yeah, then we get the mirror because then I can get Sean in the mirror, like doing the stuff. Some weird, wacky. Uh, yeah, you know, some camera stuff going on there. All right. Is she good? Christy's good? We're good. So wait, also. Jared Superman just mentioned us in his story. No way. Oh yeah. Awesome. You can move it maybe a little bit this way, so you're you're in more. This is a, you don't, they don't want just focusing on me. There you go. Okay. I think we're ready to begin this podcast. Do you subscribe to Doctor Hockey yet? Nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Amazing. That's good. Is it Jared? You said? Jared. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give a show. Where does he live? Talk about his jerseys. Um, you know, it looks like he is a Boston fan. So Jared from Boston. Cool. Okay. Yes, I think so. I think it's right here. He was asking about the jersey. That's funny. I'll, I'll make sure to have a shot. Oh, Mark from Dubai. And Mark from Dubai. Mark from Dubai. Mark was asking about the jersey. Mark, Mark from Dubai was asking about jersey. Okay. Jared's, Jared's recruiting new listeners for us. Got it. Ask Mark if he's in the bracket challenge. <clears throat> so, okay. There is a Mark in second place. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All right. Where am I in the thing? I'm on the bottom now, aren't I? How's our, how's our levels? Are you good? You had to fuss around with a lot of stuff before last time. I'm good. Yeah. Good. It's actually futz, but that's okay. Fuss. Fuss. Futs, yes. That's the, 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 the That's right. 
as opposed to putt series. That's right. What you think I'm a student? Huh? That's around. the Jersey term. Right. All right. Well, Jason, you're Ready? better than Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Got that going for me, <laughs> which is nice. All right. Um, I'm good. <clears throat> So what do you well, before I start this thing? Do you want to just go through the uh, the, the outcomes of the series that have happened? Ah, yes, yeah. I like this brief game plan. Yeah. Yeah. Series series outcomes, um, um, and then moving on. And then what, game seven coming up. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. Game maybe seven. that's maybe that's first. Um, because I, I've been noticing this uh, sort of podcasting programming uh, thing where you put the fresh dated stuff that could die. <clears throat> Nearer the end. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the stuff that'll live on. Yeah. So let's go through the, what's already happened then. All the yeah. series yeah. that have ended. Um, so we have to do. Uh, we'll do Washington and uh, Pittsburgh. We'll do the uh, Boston, Tampa Bay, and then uh, Sharks and Knights. And then last, we'll go to the game seven, and then we'll get into the call of Christie. Yeah. Welcome to the Doctor Hockey Podcast. I'm Doctor Jay Calvert. And this is a big week in hockey. I am here with Dr. Jason Berkeley. Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing great, actually. Oh, really? Why is that? Even better than normal. What? <laughs> why would that be? Whatever could it be? I don't know. What happened? Why, why are you doing better than normal? My new favorite hockey player, Kuznetsov, <laughs> put the puck in the fly hole. <laughs> Of Murray, your new favorite hockey player, and you didn't even know his name before that game. Oh, I knew his name. I didn't like him as much. Oh, I'm sure, but now he is elevated in status, and I got to say that. Uh, actually, although I will say this, when he had that breakaway, and when he put the puck in, I couldn't tell if it was for sure in. The way the camera angle was, it didn't. I didn't know for sure it was in, but the second I saw that everyone celebrating, I, I, it just was. It just was pure ecstasy. <clears throat> well. I have a price on his head, actually, being from Jersey, because uh, that really ended the chance for the three-peat. Well, it did. And also, more importantly, I went to my closet, <laughs> looked at the rafters where all my jerseys hang, saw which one could potentially – I gave you a choice. I texted you. You chose the Datsuk away jersey. Lauren Rentschler is here. Lauren, did you get that photo from uh, – from Jason? I did. I was in Vegas, so it <laughs> came okay. in a little, so, you know. You can post the photo to, if you want You to, need to right? post that photo. Okay. First okay. of all, it tells you what a sick fan Jason Berkeley really is for the Red Wings. He owns a lot of jerseys. He owns a, a lot, lot of jerseys. And I actually have two since then. I got a Larkin jersey and I got... <laughs> so it wasn't even all the jerseys. It wasn't even all. I got you, like, held back I got on a, that photo. I got a Larkin jersey and a Mantha jersey since then, but, you know, we'll post them. But uh, you chose that, which is a great choice. It's sad and pathetic. It really is. That's way too much red. That way too many winged wheels in one house. Well, sad and pathetic. That would be the last <laughs> or the first time that I've been called that. Oh, good. Well, Lauren Wrench was with us, our uh, wonderful PR person who has uh, really put the word out for us. We appreciate all her work. Thank you. And Sean Gosser. Sean, you you just came from another podcast that I guess now has like been completely canceled. Another sports podcast. Yes, Mr. Dennis Miller has decided to uh, move on from the sports podcasting world. He's going to move into his uh, more comfortable realm of right-wing politics. <laughs> well, good luck with that. I, uh, I, I think you better you know, clear the uh, area for that, that podcast. It's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. And may I add, by the way, that Mark from Dubai has been waiting for you to don the jersey. I forgot it this morning. Which is total <laughs> BS. Who said I was putting it on? I was going to do the whole podcast in that jersey. Next week, I want to say. I know what I'm beat. I, I lost. To, I want to save this moment, so I'll do it next week for sure. I'll bring it in. We'll have a whole ceremony. We'll, we'll hang it from the from the ceiling like a <laughs> rafters here in, in, in the uh, Roxbury Studios. I, I think you definitely need to do a ceremony. That's for sure. Uh, it. It. I. I definitely. I didn't see that coming. I really thought. Even better. I have a better idea. I'm going to give you the Lindstrom jersey to wear, and I have a special thing I'm going to do with that as well. Just. Just trust me on this. I'm going to trust you. I. I really. You know, dad soup would be my choice, okay. but uh, Lindstrom's not a, not a bad second choice. Lindstrom. There's I no said. N. What'd you say? It's Lindstrom. Oh, I thought it was Lindstrom. No. Lindstrom. Well, that's how much I follow the Red Wings. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Uh, the other games that we should really talk about, because, yes, yeah, fine. So we've covered, yes, Kuznetsov had an amazing breakaway, but I do want to go on the record about why I think the Capitals won those games and why I think they may have success against well, the Tampa Bay Lightning. You actually, well, first of all, you called 
the Pittsburgh problem three months ago. And it was Definitely. just one word. Defense. They have no defense. Yep. That's if it. I see Brian Dumoulin pinch again, I'm going to pinch him. I mean, <laughs> what the hell? I don't think you would do that, but that's okay. He's a lot larger than I am. Yes, I think Very he, large, actually. I think his pinch would hurt a lot worse. There's no question. <laughs> but I can tell you this. The reason that the Capitals won <clears throat> is because of the ice vision of Alexander Ovechkin. He saw the ice in a way that I haven't seen him see it in the in the playoffs in the past. I would agree. The goal in the in the not the game six, but in game five in Washington that was scored by Verano. Yep. Was a, a an atypical Alexander Ovechkin dish. He would take that shot every time a year ago, and they wouldn't get a goal. But because he dished that pass. He, he drew out, he, he, he invoked the Sidney Crosby rule that if everybody's looking at me, somebody's open. Right. And so he brought everybody with him, brought everybody past Murray. Murray went with him too. Verona standing in front of an empty net. Now it begs the question Does Pittsburgh regret putting Flurry unprotected? Do you think it would have made a difference? The way he's playing in this playoffs right now, would it have been something that, let's say they took Murray and instead of taking Flurry? Would it have been a difference? Would he have been the difference maker that could have kept them in this? Or do you think they were just tired after three, you know, runs, two, two runs all the way to the cup, and this this third year, could it have been something that he could have made a difference or would it, it would have just been? The goaltending was okay. I mean, it okay. was a one-one game. I mean, it, it that wasn't their problem. Their problem was defense. Pittsburgh was well, Who's your best defenseman? Yeah, but, but Pittsburgh definitely was gassed. Right. I think I think their problem started when they tra- traded away Ron Hainsey and Trevor Daly. Trevor Daly. I think I think those guys the the power of those guys on the ice is is so under. Well, Daly was a free agent, wasn't he? He was, but yeah. I mean, but they they could have made him a deal. Well, sure, they could have kept him. They could have been Ron Hainsey. You know, this guy. These are great you players. You have to get a Daly jersey when you wear that one. That's even just turning the <laughs> <little bit. laughs> I mean, you really you're gonna really. I'm going to think this one over. I'm it's one over. jersey, dude. It's not like I'm going to wear three jerseys around. No, I know that, but we have to we have to, have to come up with the most perfect one for you. But Jason Berkeley keeps adding terms to the back area. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right, I've won. Let's see what I can get out of this. <laughs> well, I'm like Ace. Ask for the $10. I know. I, Ace, Ace asked me for 10 bucks. He said, when, when do I get my money? I was like, what do you mean when you get your money? He's like a lawyer. He's like, well, you know, you were there when I made the bet. It's on the <laughs> I was like, what do you mean I made, you made a bet? He said, I said that if the Vegas Golden Knights beat Los Angeles, that I get ten dollars. I was like, that doesn't sound like a bet. It sounds like a statement. Like, who's giving you this ten bucks? He's like, you are, and the other doctor. Well, I'm dragging <laughs> he's, this hitting, out. he's hitting you for ten bucks. Who am I dragging to this? Because you were here, and it's on tape. I was here. Sean, do you have that on tape? Yes, it's on tape, and it's a uh, legally binding contract. Uh, Ace, I don't know. I, he's on to something. I don't know. Maybe he, you're right. He is going to be a lawyer. He's got it. I mean, he definitely – he, he said it like it was like not even – there was no discussion. It was just like, when do I get my $10? Yeah, I right. won. <laughs> room with the kill. Okay, next time he comes in, let me know so I can uh, you know, stay in the other room. Scary. All right, let's move on to the next series because I don't know why Brad Marchand feels the need to lick – other players, but once again, to my <laughs> if I were the NHL, I would just be like, dude, you got to get psychiatric counseling before you go back on the ice. Is it fair to say that Lightning took a licking by Captain Chicken? Hey, hey. I was up all awful. night thinking about that one. It was hey. really, really painful. But it is true. They, they, uh, the Lightning definitely kept on ticking. Not only did they keep on ticking, they, they squashed. The bees. If you were a fan of the, I grew up in the seventies, and you were a fan of the Gong Show, that will resonate a little more. Tell me, are you guys familiar with the term the gentleman's sweep? Because I had this discussion with a broadcaster that I used to work with, and he used to call this where you lose the first game and you sweep them on the back end on air. He used to call this the gentleman's sweep. But is it? Have you guys ever heard that I've before? Never heard that term before, but. I don't think you were use the word licking and hockey and gentlemen in the same sentence. <laughs> I mean, well, I, the licking was on the losing side. But so. still, it's. But I mean, Marshawn licking, he licked Hedman, right? I yeah, mean, that, that's not a good it's idea. Not the first time he's licked a player either. Right, and it's not. That Hedman is gigantic, and. He's nice big not cut and chopped the tongue off. I mean, well, you know, he just, it just was gross, and I'm like, it, it doesn't make sense that a guy like that is 
first of all, he's by the way, he's a great player. He's got amazing talent. He Marshawn. Of course he does. So behaviorally, he has like significant issues. I told you this months ago. He said the same thing with his with his cheap shots and everything else. And now he's licking players. Someone's got to step in. I don't think you have to add a new rule because you shouldn't have to add a rule about licking another player. That that's something that are just, that's battery. Some things are un you know you know. There are laws against that. Yes, I agree with that. Well, uh, I think it was the other coach. He was saying a spit in the face is a game for, uh, or is game misconduct. Right. So he goes, how is licking somebody not game misconduct, but spitting in their face is? It's the same thing. I do have to say my joke was funny, although you, never, you guys never responded to it, that Brad Marchand is the first NHL player who's gotten to first base during an NHL game. <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm here every Tuesday. <laughs> Tip your way, right. You know what, though? But listen, <laughs> I, I do think, though, that I got a few others, trust me. We're, <laughs> we're going to need to call our legal counsel, Ace, <laughs> to come in and give us a ruling on whether or not it's No, don't do that. We'll both own $10 for the licking somehow. We'll probably have to pay him for consulting. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's the next thing. He's going to come in and be like, I need 1200 bucks for this podcast. Well, what do you think the difference was with the Lightning really just taking it to the Bruins? I mean, what, all joking aside, what was it really that you think that was the difference maker? I, I think the Lightning are firing on all cylinders. They they have a complement of players that are they they are top notch players from all over the NHL. They, they these guys scored they they the freaking yeah, white elephant the, sale yeah. of the New York Rangers. I know capped this thing off for them. Yeah, well, it's it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, it's, yeah. J T Miller. Yeah. J T Miller is a guy that. On the fourth line last year, had like eight goals. This year, he scored, I think he scored, what, 25 goals or something like yep. that for the Rangers. And then all of a sudden, the Tampa Bay Lightning go, oh, okay, we'll take the team. I mean, come on. Right. They've already got Kunitz. they already got Stamkos. they already got Kucherov. they already got freaking uh, Strawman. They, they're, they're up to their ears in, in scoring machines. They're, they're deadly. They're, as I said at the beginning of the year, my second favorite team, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah. I mean, I – I, I'd like to think that the Jets, Predators, or, or the, the Golden Knights are going to come out of this and, and take it in the West. But I'm sorry. The Lightning have some significant Stanley Cup experience with with Kunitz right. and then firepower galore. I mean, Stamkos seemed like he was a demon uh, in this series, honestly. He was really all over the place, and I was really impressed by him, too. So now we got game one in Tampa Bay on Friday. Well, that's going to be awesome. I mean, it, it's going to be just killer. I mean, I, I think the Caps are, are up to their they, – they, they're going to need they're going to need something big to pull I'll, this one out. I'll, I agree with you, and I'll tell you also this. The emotional high of finally being the Penguins is going to catch up with them at some point, and the reality is going to hit them is going to be in the form of blight. Because there's no way they're going to be able to get past the Penguins. The emotional roller coaster of that, finally getting to the top of that mountain – and then hitting in a brick wall with the with the lightning. I mean, it's well, the just, lightning are a brick wall. Yeah, I mean, I they mean, they manhandled the Bruins. Yeah, yeah, and and you knew they were. I mean, they have, I mean, he's the a brick wall. I mean, it's just it's you know, they're they're just they're just. I think they're such a well balanced team, and uh, you know, they they've got they they have been. <laughs> I mean, they got the defense. They've got the offense. They've got the goaltending. They've got the front office. They've got the back office. They've got Steve Eiserman. They've got. They've got all kinds of good news. They have me at Iserman. I know. I know. I, that's why I threw that one in there. For that's, a little, weird, that's a little bone I figured I'd throw your way. I had this weird this. fantasy in an alternate reality that he stayed on as GM of the Red Wings, and this is actually the Red Wings team that he put together rather than the Lightning Club. They are not wearing a wing wheel. I know. They are. They are and by the way, it's, it's in Tampa Bay. Like, this isn't the Red Wings. Although I have to say, I've seen some of the most obnoxious things in Tampa Bay. You don't put a number 19 Iserman jersey with Tampa from a, uh, Tampa Bay on the front. You can't do that. I no. Seen, we've seen people do those and uh, wear those jerseys. No. That's terrible. It's that, that's good. That you can't do that. It's like wearing a Gordie Howe Minnesota Wild jersey or something. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, that's awful. It's just It's terrible. Stop. Yeah, I'm You're sorry. You're hurting me. It's, really? It's true. I've seen those jerseys before. People wear them. That's very painful. Yeah, it is. Well, let's get to the real headline of this podcast, and that's the – Third time ever a opening team has gotten to the conference championship here in the Vegas Golden Knights. It's the what? The, <laughs> the what did you just say? The, uh, the third time? The third time ever a 
franchise expansion team has okay, that makes more sense. terms out, right? It was properly. like opening what? The yeah. opening came on that day. <laughs> right. Yeah, here now. All right, good. So what are you talking about? There, there are franchise – there are expansion teams that have made it to the conference finals in three – Three, two times, two times. I, you're signing to me. I don't, I don't know what. Anyway, the bottom line is that the Vegas Golden Knights are in the conference finals. Yes. They're waiting for their opponent, which will be decided. If you're listening on Thursday when this comes out, it's decided tonight. Uh, we are sitting here a little day before that or two, but uh, that is going to be a huge game. Uh, why did the Vegas Golden Knights have an easy time sweeping the Sharks, Jason Berkeley? I don't think they had an easy time necessarily. They didn't sweep them, by the way. They, I, they, you know, they, they uh, gave them what? They gave them one. They got them two, two. six. They, they did it in yeah, six, so they six. gave them two. Um, you know what? I just don't think that the San Jose Sharks had the offensive firepower really to compete with with the Golden Knights. I think it was something that was just they're they're missing something, uh, not just Thornton, but I think they're missing something. And, uh, you know, and, and they, their future looks a little bit bleak, in my opinion. Oh, I think so, too. I think they're in trouble for the next few years. They're We're going to talk about that over yeah. the summer. But let's yeah, talk yeah. about that. That series, to me, I want to talk about the success of the Golden Knights and why I think they steamrolled them. Because I really think Well, Vince they, Neal led Marchessault, so drove his life, drove his Lamborghini to the game. That's number one. Vince Neal? Yep. Does he so, live in Vegas? I'm sure he does. I mean, legendary Vince Neal from Motley Crue. Nice. I saw a video. He let him drive his Golden Knights... A uh, personal uh, Lamborghini. No way. Too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. that you see right there. That's where the that's where the, the goal and assist easy. Better than Motley Crue. I mean, I mean, come on, that's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. But I think that, and it's even more awesome that Vince Neal is that big of a hockey fan. I think. Well, speaking of Neal's, Vince Neal is an amazing hockey fan. But I think that the success of the Vegas Golden Knights on the ice is really a large part due to the most underrated offensive guy in the NHL, James Neal. I agree. He draws so much and people are so the if when you watch him play, they're they're always thinking, there's Neil. I gotta I gotta get there. I gotta get there. And it, he is the guy that pulls everybody that leaves open the Carlsons and the Marchessos right. and the No Sex and 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 the Bellamars, I mean, they they really have – they have a superpower in James Neal. The guy is just – he's come on huge this is year. Is it fair to say, though, that because of the salary cap, it sort of backfired this year with the way that Vegas has played and they've, how well they've done with the quality of players they've gotten? Oh, definitely. I mean, I think I think that this expansion, nobody could have anticipated a team coming together like this. And it is. But why not, though? Because if you have a, if you, if this isn't your typical expansion draft where you get NHL not. players and guys on their the back end of their career that are just being thrown off. Say, hey, yeah, take this guy, take that guy. You actually have good players that they just couldn't afford anymore. No, it's absolutely. That, 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 they're, that they're you know the bottom of the barrel at all. And we've gone through it. I mean, it's like take any. Any second line on any NHL team and right. multiply it by four right. and tell me you want to play that team. Because every I've anticipated the chemistry that built from this team. True. That is the part. That's the X factor. Everybody could have said, this team is going to compete. There's no – I don't think anybody could have anticipated that they weren't going to compete. But the fact that it's this good – Yeah. Is something special that that doesn't happen in a vacuum. That's Gallant, that's McPhee, of course. That's Foley and the Maloofs, and it's Neil and it's Flurry and it's a very large chip on everybody's shoulder involved to say, you know what, we're going to make this work. It's the Vegas tragedy. It's T-Mobile. It's the city. It's the small market mentality of the team. All of that comes together, and. You got fourth, you got second and third line players that were not protected by their team, who are given a lot of room now that they wouldn't have had on their teams because the franchise players would keep them down. Right. It's just like, it's just like when you, you remove the big cancer, and all the little ones get to grow up finally, because then you've taken away the maybe our audience isn't going to get that. Right. But you might get it. 
Maybe that's oh, one for you. Matt, so are you, are you calling? Are you calling March or so mitotic figures? <laughs> is that? Uh, <laughs> I want to stop right there because yeah. this is a hockey podcast. Yeah, I know. That's, I, mean, I realize we're both physicians. Yes. And I realize that we understand the physiology of. Just trust me. If March or so is listening, it's a good thing. It is. It's very good. What <laughs> it means is that you've taken away the blocker that's been holding you back, and these. Second and third line players that were not protected now get to shine at the level they that grow. they wanted to. They've always wanted to. And by the way, Gallant knew March so was that good. Sure. There's no question. He was coaching him in Florida. He knew he was that good. That's why the that Gallant knew all this stuff, and McPhee knows all of it. They they weren't making this team up with you know like well, let's pick this guy. They knew these players, and that's who they chose. And McPhee is a skilled general manager. He he put together the Washington Capitals. I argue that the Capitals that are are where they are today because of McPhee. So it, it's it was all planets aligned, and good things have happened in Las Vegas. I agree with you. I think that is going to be a, like a um, you know not a storyline, but something that comes out is like, hey, they relax the rules, and a team is getting this far. Should we dial the rules back? But I, I kind of agree with Jay. Like they didn't get a franchise player they didn't get a top 25 player even I don't, maybe flurry you could flurry. consider a top 25 player in the nhl oh yeah but uh he just won the cup right last year so i found the the little thing the little nugget i was looking for they are the third franchise in nhl history to win multiple playoff series in their first season the other two were the 1918 toronto arenas and the 1968 st louis blues i think we all remember when the uh where we, where we were when toronto Arenas <laughs> advance like that. I know, I know where I was. I think you need to watch your language. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what an arena is. That's all I'm saying. I don't even. I don't even know what that is. So I, I'm not sure why they named the team that. Sounds like a word. It's just not not used anymore today. But I don't want to get an NC17 rating on this podcast. <laughs> I don't think you're going to hear from that. Good. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next uh, series. So we uh, we got a game seven coming up. Game seven, Thursday night in Nashville. The away team has seemed to be the prevailing party. Yeah. So does Winnipeg win this? I was in, in very Nashville? surprised that Nashville was able to go into Winnipeg. That's one of the toughest places to play. Oh my God! Absolutely. Which place did Salani win the game last night? I, you know, maybe they caught some you know, of that Salani magic. Well, like, get get some skates on him and get him on the ice. I'm sure he can still play out there with them. Easy. Come on. He's 48 years old. I, I'm sure he could. He's amazing. But, uh, you know, to go in there to win a pen like that and win a game on the line like that, that was very impressive. Huge. I mean, they're getting production from everybody. And Philip Forsberg is the man. He's the man. He is the difference. Yeah. I cannot get over. He just, you know, I think some, somebody said, you, you got to make this happen, and he did. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Lavalette was like, "You got to, you got you to do this. This has to happen." You know, I'm sure PK Subban felt the same way. Roman Yossi, they they have a, they have a stacked roster too, and that Ryan Johansson is slick. But the Arvidsson, they get production from the tourists that they they made out in that tourist Duchesne trade, sure. like Absolutely. bandits. I'm sorry, that guy was he's great, and he does amazing stuff for them. It's and going to Smashville for a Game 7, Winnipeg's going to have to do something special here because I think the Preds are feeling their oats right now. Well, but also, listen, Hellebuck's still been playing a good game. He just needs a little more support for him. I think that last night the, the, the defense let him down a little bit. Totally. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think he was – Absolutely. He can't put it on, on his shoulders. He's no. done everything, he's done everything he could. No. But uh, the defense looked like they felt like, hey, you know, we got it. Right. We're just going to – we're going to coast through this one lock, close out the series, let's go take care of, you know, Vegas, and then we're going to go on to the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Well, that may not happen. They may not see those days. Interesting. When I was on uh, ESPN Nashville today, they asked me, if you're the Vegas Golden Knights, who do you want to play? Do you want to play the Predators? Do you want to play Winnipeg? Interesting question. What did you say? Who do you say? I'm Vegas. Who do I want to play? I probably want to play Nashville. That is exactly what I said. I said, I, I want to play Nashville. I think Winnipeg gets out of this series. They're going to be really, going to be really geared up for, for, the, for the Western Conference Finals. They're not, going to, they're not going to back down. Well, and I also want to tell you that the size differential. Yeah. From Winnipeg to, to uh I don't want to play against Knights. Buffalo. Let's put it that way. <laughs> no, and the rest of the team. I don't want to play against Buffalo. 
but this is a he very is, significant side differential. He is he is the epitome of what a bruising hockey player should be with be like. He has great hands. He knows the game very well. Uh, just a smart hockey guy. I, I, he's not the kind of person I want to go up against. Forget the rest of the team. Just you know. <laughs> well, I think if if uh, I think I think the Predators are going to take it in Nashville. I I I, wow. I love Winnipeg. I I love what they did this year. I think they're an accurate team, but they're. Their lack of mental uh, – they just – they had, like, a failure in their home stadium. To, like, that's not a Stanley Cup team. If you're a Stanley Cup team, you don't let that happen. I, I would agree with you. However, I think the pressure got to them. They know what it's like to be in that position. I think they're going to come back and win game seven. I, I don't know. We'll see. It, the, the road team has prevailed. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have we'll, – we'll be watching, of course. So – uh, at that point, now that now that we're in this round, who do you think's winning the Stanley Cup? Jeez. Um, I'm I'm torn. I'm becoming a bit of a believer in Vegas. I really am. I don't want to, but I imagine? am. What could you imagine that? How cool would that be? Yeah, I mean, it would be pretty cool. But I I, I got to say that. Uh, like I said, with the exception of one or one one of the series that came out of this, the second round, I think any of those teams could have been Stanley Cup material. That's the thing. Any of those, any of those series have been great. They're series. all Stanley Cup material. I don't Who's think, winning the Stanley Cup? I don't think it's going to be Washington. Agreed. Um, I don't think. I, geez. My original pick from earlier in the season. Tampa Before Bay. I switch, Tampa Bay. I think, I Tampa, think, I think Tampa Bay is winning. I think it's going to be Tampa. I think that this, even if Washington, even if Winnipeg gets past Nashville, I think that a blow of their confidence was they couldn't close out the season, the thing at home, like you just said. And I think there's something to that. Tampa Bay is yeah, stacked. Yeah, I think my original pick is Tampa Bay. It's stacked. From what when I said it was back in November, December. Yeah. And they are, then I changed they are. to Boston. I know I did. Everyone listening, following along at home. I did change to Boston, but I went back to Tampa Bay. Well, the Boston is not a choice right now. There's, I know there's that. only a few teams to pick. So I, I know that. I mean, who do you think it is? I think Tampa Bay. You think Tampa Bay? I think Tampa Bay. I really do. John, but, please, Tampa Bay Vegas series. Oh my goodness! I mean, awesome. yeah. what what would that do for the Vegas franchise? Them come out and win this first first ever season. They win the Stanley Cup. What does that do for the franchise? Okay, first of all, everything from here on out for Vegas, gravy. Yep. They've all – everything that's going to be done for them is done. They have hit the Barry Bonds on steroids out of the parker into hurt. the San Francisco Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper <laughs> home run. I understand it's not going to burn. But, but whatever. When he, was, when he was bigger. I don't know what he was on. He was, he was eating amino acid. Pills, whatever. He was big, but that they have hit it with what they've done already. Never mind the, you know, the Stanley Cup. Forget it. It's it's off the chain. Then it's it's. Although it, it would be a really difficult parade to go to, being 138 degrees. People would melt. They would melt. Be, there would be an issue. Or 400 <laughs> degrees Kelvin, possibly. They but. could have the parade in in, uh, in Los Angeles, because I'm sure <laughs> yeah. that people would appreciate it anyway. Right. No way. Come on. you got to have the parade down Las Vegas Boulevard. We'll get to see the cup in every casino at the top of every every tall, humongous building. We'll see it on the roller coaster on that one casino. I, I want to see the cup just making its trip around Las Vegas. That's what I want to see. It could happen. It, they, they are in position, and it could happen. Um, we had a couple of shout-outs we needed to do. So we've, we've had some people that are uh, definitely following along. First of all, I think it was uh, CEO Bear. Bear. Jared. Jared. Jared yeah. from Boston. From Boston. So uh, we appreciate him following along, and he's, he's recruiting for us. And I mentioned Mark from Dubai earlier. About, uh, he's really hung up on the whole – Jay wearing the Red Wings jersey. It will happen next week. I promise you that. Where is I, – I was ready for it. I know. Look, I, for, the, know, look for the avatar look, change I, next week. You know, I – even got I, a like, haircut for it. <laughs> but you know what, though? This is the thing is that I I know when I've been beat. Like, I'm, I get it. But like you know? I said, what bothers me the most is you did not get upset. If, if that happens – Of course I was upset. No, no. 
you were I go through, 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 listen, I go through me back, grieving. LOL, and it's okay. And, you know, <laughs> I, I go through grieving and no. acceptance and all those phases, like, so quickly, you can't believe it. I don't have time. What if I get hit by a bus? I have to be over it. Well, I understand that. I would die I'm angry that, you know, there's a... It, I, I'm serious, man. Like, you've got to get through that shit. No. When it comes to that kind of loss in the playoffs, that way as well. Did you see how it happened? Of course I did. What else was going to happen? I, it, I was like, it was like watching you a You've got to have a little fire under your, in your, uh, your belly with I'm that. I'm not playing hockey. I don't care. It's different if I'm playing. I'm not playing. I can't go out there and make Crosby move his legs any faster. He's doing the best he can. Listen, uh, these guys are gas. I still am not over. I told you that. The Red Wings are losing to Pittsburgh. Do pinches again. I'm serious. Years. <laughs> I'm serious about that. I want to see you get I want him on this podcast, by the way. I want I want Brian Doolin. I want to find out. What were you thinking? Oh, I'm going to yeah. Dr. Phil that thing. I am. <laughs> I'm going to Dr. Phil that one. You're down. One nothing. You got Chris Letang limping his way down the ice. You will not say that to him. I promise you. Puck swimming all over the place. You got Alexander Ovechkin, Kucherov sitting up in the blue line waiting for the pass. What just, were you thinking? Just for the record, that is Dr. Jay Calvert's voice. It is not me. I, I'm <laughs> serious. Dylan, I think you're a great player. He is a great player. I just want to know what he was thinking. That's oh. all. It's a very simple question. That was Dr. Calvert. All right. We have to do a quick uh, <clears throat> Dr. Hockey bracket challenge check-in here. All right. Good. We have, and then uh, we have to get to our guest. That's right. Don't go anywhere because we have a concerned follower, listener, coming on to talk to us about problems with the NHL awards, which, by the way, are going to come up really quick after the Stanley Cup. And, and we've, already, we've already registered some of our gripes, but, you know, this person has serious gripes. It's in Vegas. Well, I mean, and I, I got issues. So let's do the bracket challenge right, round. Let's stay, stay ready for your, for your gripe slash after this. But John 1 is currently in the lead. He's got Tampa Bay winning the whole thing. Uh, he may win it. Uh, second place, Mark 1. Maybe it could be Mark from Dubai. We don't know. He's got Vegas winning the whole thing. I like that. T, standing alone in third. Nolan in fourth. Jacqueline in fifth. And me leading the way of the group here. No way. Uh, right here in seventh place, I got the Preds winning it. So my bracket still has... Uh, has it has legs. Uh, it's got some legs. Uh, a little bit below me, we got JC winners. Uh, Jay's bracket, but obviously his pens are out. And then uh, we've got the best tight end in the NFL, Delaney Walker, also middle of the pack with the Preds winning. So his bracket also has got some legs on it, too. Who did I pick? I forgot. You are... Uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't remember who I picked. Who did I pick? Oh, you actually have the Preds. But you're too far out of it. Nah, you're, you're 17th out of 23rd place I right never now. said I was a good predictor. <laughs> and uh, my boy, Shion, holding up dead last year with the Toronto Maple Leafs as his winner. I, I don't think... Wait. No, they're not going to win it. <laughs> they, they're, I think they went out in the first round. Sorry, bud, you're done. Was that this year? No, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Well, um, let's get to our uh, our interview, and uh, we'll uh, we'll come back at the end here. Let's. Uh, you want to redirect over to the interview? I, I got it. Sean wants to redirect you. Here we go. <laughs> you're gonna have to edit out. I know, yeah, the, I know. It just slipped out of me. Uh, Which I was? I, I, I kind of made a special voice. Yeah, you can't do that. I'm yeah, you can't do that. Sure. Yeah. 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 Somebody comment in there? No. Okay, good. Our listeners okay. won't really care about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. for the sake of argument, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I got you. I don't want you to edit out the Dr. Phil impression. In fact, I'm going to oh, text that to him. No, Nailed yeah. it. <laughs> and on top of that, I definitely want you in there. Again, what did you yeah, say last week? I said it directly to Brian Dumoulin. Burn fuel? What did you call it last week? I don't know. Well, we'll talk about what do you remember about that? Never too long over. You said, oh, yeah, yeah. I like that burn fuel. <laughs> like, what is he talking about? What's burn fuel? <laughs> I, I want that promo that, like right before. <laughs> that, that brain blaster <laughs> drink thing that's coming up next. I don't know. They pay us. That's right. Whatever their name is. All right, so now let's get a uh, let's get Christy on. Yeah. I don't know if anybody watches this on here though while we're doing this. Are you okay if I take off a little early today? Yeah, yeah you can go whenever. Okay. Just because I'm gonna help out Audrey at home. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, but I'll stick around if you want me to. Dude, it's up to you. I mean, if you if you want to do the interview, what? That was really funny. It was good. Yeah. We were laughing a lot, though. Um, good sign. The sharks 
stayed Friday night in Vegas, and the Golden Knights flew to San Jose Friday night. Oh, no way. Uh, oh, really? That's funny. Really? Maybe that's what did it, man. They went to Sapphires. Yeah, treasures. Not that I've ever been there before. <laughs> treasures. I guess we got to sign out of Dennis reverse. Just ask her if she's going to leave now or she'll be there. She's okay. Tell her if she says leave now that she's weak. <laughs> and that. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> That's funny. This has a huge delay on it. Yeah. I like that. They all do, though. It's kind of cool. Oh, by the way, when you texted me capitals, they hadn't scored yet while I was watching it. No, they did. No, I know that. But oh, I had seen it because I was on delay, and I was like, "You should have brought that up. That's hysterical." I know I didn't get it. <laughs> I wanted to because I'm like, I'm just like waiting for it. That it's like, like how far it's like waiting for like the guillotine to come down. You yeah, know? and then I was, was like, was like <laughs> "Oh, it was like a minute and thirty seconds." Was it that far? Yeah, yeah. Because I was watching it on uh, on my Direct TV like delay thing. So oh, like, sorry. It was very funny because I was like, "Well, here it comes." <laughs> They came back. I'm like, no one responded. Like, where is everybody? Yeah, because I was waiting to see the the destruction. That's a really neat setup they have where T-Mobile is. There are people outside watching the game. Like the bars were full. So great. That's really nice. I mean, how yeah, awesome I've been, is that? Um, pissed at my friend, and I texted him every time they win a game we know. that we should have went to that damn game. You'll have a whole other round. I know. We were gonna go to the. the okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to do that. The last or the second to last. Should we get the game should, the if he's here? Okay. Should I get All the? Right, uh, I'll, I'll, we have a little interview doing in a few more minutes after. Yeah, that, he's gonna do it now. You see them. Let me get the other uh, head right. So I'll have some veggie burger. I'll do the pasta when I get home. Look at hubby. Would you be mad? Should you just just take your time when you get home? She is going to survive. She's not weak. Oh. I have not, honestly, I don't. I have not even paid attention to who's. I've been play, watching the play. I haven't paid attention to the uh, categories. She's just been nominated for what category. Oh. Is it what, out what, yet? What do you hear about? Well, what when it happens, it? we need to have a you know a, at least a segment. Yeah, I'm saying, but I haven't really even paid attention to who's nominated. Would you guys and, go if you were credentialed for like the red carpet and yeah. interviews and stuff? No, we That's totally what should. We should Let's do it in Vegas. Yeah, that's why it depends what the date is of it. It's usually end of June. Right, because I'm already. Oh, for uh, for the, the uh, awards. Awards, yeah. You know, we should totally do that for Doctor Hockey. That'd be sick. Because I am already. I mean, for for months I've been planning when to see the spring season in New York and Broadway. June 27th. Amazing. Yeah. But it's not June 27th. I think it's the weekend um, before. Is it? Yeah. yeah I mean, oh, I. Crap, this have is the wrong. June 20th. Oh, it's a Wednesday. Oh, I might have it. Wednesday. Yeah, I got one. I can go. Need it. Yeah, it's good. Okay. But no, we need the we need the other one. This, I have that same one. Oh, there you go. All right, cool. Oh, got it. <coughs> yeah, let's do it. So we each take an ear, and then we can talk to her. <coughs> and I have to be in Jacksonville next Tuesday, so I won't be here. Oh, whoa. nice. Yeah, yeah really fun. <laughs> we'll try to make it with Never been. Yeah. Um, All right, let's get her on. Yeah. Let me at least have the awards up here, so at least we can show them relatively. Uh, I don't, did I don't you pay know. attention to the award nominations? I, well, I know they, the, the the defeat did. I don't did, think they've did, been did, announced did, yet. Did, yeah. Deal, deal, they did. Deal, they deal, announced deal, the, deal. The, the the Norris Trophy winners. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to put in. Actually, I'm going to record myself doing it. Yeah, funny do my just so it still plays as me fucking up and you guys calling me up. That's funny. <laughs> I have a serious question for you. Do, you do I need an ID to go see someone in the hospital? Yeah. Why? I have no idea where my job Oh, you mean to get you need to visit somebody? Uh-huh. No. no. Oh, okay, great. Where are you going? Cedars? 88197. Okay, you guys ready? 
Yeah, somebody have a baby. <coughs> uh, no, opposite. Uh, fibroid removed or something. A fibroid, fibroid died. Fibroid something, something like that. Something emergency yeah. surgery. Come here. Bye. Hey, Chrissy, it's Jay Calvert. Doing great. I'm here with Jason Berkeley. Hey, how's it going? Let's get we're gonna we're gonna get in position here. Good. Jason, you gotta move over towards me a little bit, I think. We want to get you into this mic. All right, we're getting set up to uh, get this Skype call going. Christy, we're gonna call you right back. Just record. Ah, okay. Are we good? Good to go. There you are. You're on? All right, perfect. I think we're in. Let me just see if Sean's ready. Yep, you're good to go. So we can just start? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we want to welcome Christy Flannery to the Dr. Hockey Podcast. Christy, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Uh, Sean, something just disappeared. I'm not. I, I thought I was doing well, but I'm not doing well now. Hold on. Is this actually still working? You're still here, right? I still hear her, but I don't know if it's actually like all of a sudden that just went away. Hold on, Christy. <clears throat> she's still. She's still yeah, on. Still. All right, All right, good. I don't know why I don't want to. Um, so, um, yeah, quickly. Christy, just one second. Maybe ask her. Um, it's got to be flashy. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Ask her, maybe, she said she's a journalist. Is yeah, it do we, do we want to plug her? Um, like, walk. So, yeah, ask her what, uh, what the proper is, way to introduce her. So, we have Christy Flannery of blah, 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 blog. And I'll we're going to talk about yada, yada, yada. I'll let her tell us about it. Cool. Cool. Right. You go. You in this bit here? Chris, are you on? All right, good. I think we fixed the uh, the glitch in the matrix here. I mean, um, cool. So um, what I'll do is I'm gonna start that over, but I, I'm gonna have you just introduce yourself. Tell me again the name of your blog so that I, I don't screw this up. Skating and stilettos. Okay, good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I, well, Excellent. You know what I do? I'll just let you tell us about it because I'll, I'll say, tell us about yourself and why you wrote, wrote it in, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Then we'll just start talking about the playoffs. Cool. So I want to welcome Christy Flannery to the Dr. Hockey Podcast. Christy, how are you doing? Well, it's great to have you. I'm here with uh, Dr. Jason Berkeley. Hey, Christy. How's it going? Good, good. So we've been talking about the playoffs a bunch, and uh, we we definitely uh, we want to talk about that. But I also want to cover the things that we were talking about these NHL awards that are going to come up immediately following the Stanley Cup, uh, and we're going to run through some of the issues that you and I had talked about a little bit on our phone call. Um, but I just want to introduce Christy. She is a follower of the Doctor Hockey Podcast, and she was sending us a lot of direct messages that made so much sense that I called her up and said, you got you got to come on and, and talk to us about all these issues. Tell us about yourself and why you love hockey. That's a good goal. Which ones have you been to? Those are good ones. Yeah, you got. Yeah, there are some places that well, I, I got to tell you that T-Mobile would be one I'd get to as soon as possible. Yeah, Nashville's got a special. I, I went to Vanderbilt, so I I have a you know very very big space in my heart and a warm place in my heart for Nashville and uh, I can only imagine what that arena is like right now. All 
And you have a, a hockey blog, is that right? Well, you're going to need to talk to Dr. Jason Berkeley about that because all he can do is hate everybody else unless they're the Red Wings. What's wrong with that? <laughs> so that's great. And where, when, where, do, where do we find your blog? Love it. Well, that's awesome. I, I am uh, happy to, to be able to chat with you. And tell, tell us when you're also, you're a journalist by training, correct? So, and you covered the, the New Jersey Devils for a while, is that correct? Oh, we totally need to do that. I'm so jealous. That must have been cool. <laughs> oh, you caught Kovalchuk in one of his uh, many uh, stints in the NHL. <laughs> Right. How cool. That's amazing. Well, I mean, we, uh, we definitely want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, what you kind of wrote into us about these, uh, these awards. <coughs> and the one that sort of upset us the most was the Norris Trophy uh, nominees. I mean, w what do you think happened here? Yes. Well, and what do you, why, why PK Subban? Why uh, do you think Dowdy got in there? Well, that's a good question because I think he's. It, this is his year, right? Yeah. Ooh. Those are some big guns. I know a team in the Midwest um, near Youngstown, Ohio. I could use one of those guys. Another defenseman on that team? Yeah. Well, don't you think? That would be even more. I think it'd be good. Yeah, I think yeah, Pittsburgh, yeah. Pittsburgh definitely felt it in this playoff series <laughs> of not having Ron Hainsey and Trevor Daly, and I think they might be in the market for a big name defenseman. What do you think about uh, about uh, Seth Jones being uh, passed over? Because I thought he was a Norris Trophy nominee for sure. Uh, he, I mean, I, I kind of go by the numbers, and so to me, it, like his numbers were insane. The amount of time, ice time he had, his goals, his assists. I mean, he he is a playmaker. When uh, when Columbus scores, look around. That guy is on the ice. There was another guy that I saw play that I thought, you know, he's probably not a Norris Trophy guy, but in the plus minus category, there's a guy on the on the on the Ducks that I watch play all the time, named Josh Manson. And I don't know if you've seen Josh play, but he's he's unbelievable. And his his plus minus was killer. And same with Cam Fowler. But it seems like there's probably a lot of political, uh, you know, angst that goes into that Norris Trophy. Yeah, but but choice. don't they usually base it on the team's success, which I think is somewhat unfair sometimes to do that. But that's what they typically base it on. Well, I think they they named these Norris Trophy finalists. I think even before the playoffs, or as the playoffs were started. Yeah, but you have an idea. You know, who's yeah, going, you know they're not going to nominate a guy from you know, Detroit right now or uh, one of the teams that didn't make the playoffs necessarily. This is it's kind of a bit of a bias to begin with. I think that's true. Um, Christy, what do you think about all the uh, – what do you think about our goalies for the uh, Vesna uh, trophy? The, uh, they, they, they have uh, Hellebuck. Rene and Vasilevsky.
he is on fire. Yeah, I mean, Hellebuck's, you know, sort of brandy new, and uh, Vasilevsky's been around. Yeah, he did. He came out of nowhere. He's play, He's he's amazing. I, I gotta say, he, he's really. Uh, he's playing out of his head, and we'll see how they do tomorrow night. Um, but uh, yeah, I agree with you. I think this is a Pekarine year. It's his time. Uh, I don't know how many more years he's gonna play, but he he seems like he's got a lot more fight in him. Yeah, he's thirty five, right? She's thirty seven. And Vasilevsky, I think his he'll he'll get another shot for sure. But it, I mean, it's very possible that the Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> well, the, the, the oh yeah, the Lightning look like they're stacked. Uh, we were just talking about it. I mean, from your standpoint, with who's left, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? So you think Nashville is gonna gonna win tomorrow on Thursday night? This is gonna air on Thursday. So you think they're gonna win tonight on in uh, Nashville, and then they're gonna go on to beat the Vegas Golden Knights, wind up in the Stanley Cup, and play Tampa. Why not? Yeah, I mean Tampa, Tampa Bay is uh they, they are stacked and they and they added they added some serious firepower at the end of the season. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that I think getting JT Miller and McDonough is just it's, it's out of control. They they have such a stacked team. And then and then they have got guys like Chris Kunitz, which everybody forgets that he's won, by the way, like four Stanley Cups. Yeah, he he ain't, he ain't so he ain't so shabby that guy. No, it's uh it's it's a uh, it's gonna be a great run into the Stanley Cup. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, the Winnipeg uh, uh, Predators game, and then whoever comes out of it, I think you know the Vegas Golden Knights are gonna give them a run for their money. But I agree with you. I think one of those two teams is going to the Stanley Cup final. No, definitely not. Well, we'll uh, we'll definitely see. Um, it, it is a, uh, I mean, for for me, it's been pretty hard to watch my Penguins go down. But I think Washington finally put something together that they were able to get past Pittsburgh. Uh, it was. What do you what do you think happened in that series that that Washington finally did it? Well, they, I think they're gassed. I think they're just out of they're out, they're out of juice. No, it, it's a totally different team, and especially playing with the. I I, I think their defense just it was it was awful to watch. <laughs> That's all I can say. I was I was in pain watching that game. It wasn't too bad. Well, and then the other part of it that hurt really badly is I'm driving home and I'm and I'm I've got the game on in my car and you know overtime starts and it's like kind of into it. And then all of a sudden I get this like text from Jason Berkeley in all in all caps, Capitals, and like the game's still going on because I'm on a delay. And I was like, 
And I was like just waiting for the ax to fall on my neck <laughs> for, the, for that Kuznetsov breakaway. It was very painful to watch. It was awful. And, and I just, I didn't even know what to do about it too. I was like, maybe I should pull over. Maybe I could stop time. You know, like, how can I, is there something I can do where I can, and nope, it just happened right in front of my eyes on the time delay. And I know you were driving. I would have called you and laid in queue about it, but I didn't know you were driving. <laughs> it was so painful. But, you know, that's how it goes. You can't, I mean, the three-peat is a, it would have been awesome, but I think it's, it's something that's going to be really hard to see happen again. It's just the, the, the parody in the league that these, these teams are amazing. And they, you know, any given night, and we had John Blue on, who's a, a former goaltender for the Bruins. He said, on any given night, best goaltender wins. And I think that is, that's really true. There's so much sense to that. And we, you know, we had him on, I don't know if you listened to our show, where we went through the, uh, the playoffs from a goalie standpoint. But I think it's, it's very real. The, the top goalies are definitely proven out to be the guys that are getting to the end here. I, I, th I think so. I mean, th this is the kind of thing where, you know, you've got to, the only way you can win is you got to stop the other team from scoring and give your, your, your team a chance. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to get out to Vegas for a game? Is there any playoff, any Stanley Cup playoff games in your future in the next few weeks? Y you better. I mean, I, I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, no, I think I think I'm gonna go wherever wherever the Stanley Cup is going. I gotta find a way to get in there. Every game there has been like a playoff. That's that's the the sentiment from uh, the people I know that go there all the time. They just said every game there is like a playoff game. And that, that was actually one of my concerns with them going into the playoffs was that they've been playing playoff hockey all year long and that they'd be out of gas for the, uh, you know, for the playoffs, but that hasn't been the case. They have, they've done some amazing stuff already. Well, they're definitely going to do it. So uh, give us your final comments on the playoffs. Tell us what you think is going to happen over the next few days. And, and uh, you, you, you already told us you think Preds in Nashville to move on to beat the Vegas Golden Knights, correct? So you think we're going to see the Predators, and then in the East, Caps are out, Tampa Bay in, and and Tampa Bay wins the Cup. Ah, we all kind of agreed on that, though. Yeah, we. All, I think everybody felt that it was Tampa Bay. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, it's Tampa Bay. I think. I, I, plus, it'd, it'd be encouraging that Advisorman wins his first Cup as a general manager. He may want to say, "Okay, move on to greener pastures and come back home." This guy is all Red Wings over here. I mean, I'm telling you. Everything ties back in. You have no idea what it's like every week to show up and have to listen about the Detroit Red Wings. I sent you a picture of me in my Red Wings pajamas. What more do you need than that? It's there. By the way, you know, I turned that into the FBI. You did. <laughs> well, Christy, we really appreciate you coming on. This has been great. We we uh, we're going to be following along, and we want to reserve the right to call you back as we get towards the end of the Stanley Cup here. Is that all right? Very cool. Well, thanks for joining us. And, Thank you. Uh, we will hear from you again soon, I hope, and uh, you'll definitely hear from us. Take right, care. Christy, take care. Nice. Cool. Nice and tight. <clears throat> yep. I like it. It was good. It went very well. You should have a lot to say. It's good. Could you have everything else you need? Though? Girl power. Yep. Yeah. You what? Girl power. I like Same. it. Yeah. That was good. Jammers. Send it to Jay. Repping yeah. a. Oh, nice. Yeah. Send that to. <laughs> Repping a, a, a female um, hockey blog. Lord. Lord. Skating oh on stilettos. Yeah, it's just all good shit. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go on the blog, though. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's going on. Or, right. I mean, I'm, 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 uh, it's going on the. Uh, Did Instagram. you see that email I sent you, Jay, with um, our Instagram posting times? No. We do really, really well in the evening. Oh, really? And since <laughs> Instagram isn't chronological <laughs> anymore, Oh, it's not? What is it? They, yeah, do they, it they by, have like that uh, Facebook, what do you call it? Yeah, by like engagement. Yeah, by like what you, it'll <laughs> it'll filter the top of stuff that you engage with first, the, the, the people that you like or the, the, the 
accounts that you yeah. comment on, that stuff will filter up to the top first. Use Twitter for like the in-game stuff. Yeah. And the live stuff, because that's so chronological. Yeah. But if you have an Instagram, send it to me and I'll like put it that. in the hopper so it goes on our like heavy the posting. Hopper. Yeah. You're gonna say hopper. So it goes on our heavy posting schedule time. My sister's gonna get in touch with Dr. Hodge. And would like you say those um, screenshot do. ones don't do very well? Right. The screenshot of the oh, right. release. The audio ones that's do pretty good. Well, that was good. I think it's a good fun. podcast. Yeah. Well, Dr. Oz would know, man. He's a cardiac surgeon. Yeah. Smart guy. He'll have, he'll have something for you on that, I'm sure. Okay, Jay, I'm going to go to Radio Shack and buy some right. stuff, and I'll just bring a receipt with All me. Right. I just cool. need a couple of cables, and then while I'm there, I'm probably just going to buy another microphone. Whatever you want. Um, that's fine. Give me a receipt. That will reimburse. So, um, with our current setup, uh, I was thinking about switching our microphones up to uh, better microphones, more. But with with the room that we're in, I actually think um, it would pick up too much, and right. it wouldn't sound as good. I, I mean, think these I directional think, ones are good. Yeah, we just so have to use them. Properly. If we happen to move rooms or something like that in, in the future, maybe we can switch to um, some better mics. But I think for right now, this is good. So I'm going to buy another identical SM88, what we already have, and then uh, another